picture you upon my knee. T for two and two for T. Me for you. Hi, this is Xavier to For Vape. Uh, today, uh, before the review, I will start with a big thank you to you all. I uh, thank you for the 10,000 uh, views across all our videos. Uh, for the 60 or so uh, subscribers that we got on the channel. Um, we really appreciate that. So a big thank you to you all. Um, please keep on supporting us by uh, subscribing to the channel, uh, liking some of vid our videos or all of them if you like. Um, and uh, don't forget to comment. Uh, your comments are really welcome on the videos. Uh, please share your experience with us. So thank you. Thank you for that. So today we will talk about this, the Nebula, the Nebula for the Team Omega from Philippines, made of stainless steel, uh, 304 stainless steel, with a uh, copper contact with silver plating, a big bore on this top cap that's made of Darien, um, huge hair flow either in single setup like so or in dual setup dual coils that's it um what can i say what are the pros and the cons of this atomizer first the pros now some of them it's really easy to build look at the deck here we have huge holes in the post, 3 mil each. Uh, you can use a big cantle wire like uh, in there, so um, that's a good point. Another good point is the flavor you get of, of this. Uh, even high wattage and full airflow, uh, you still get good flavor from this. And not as much as uh, you'd get from um, the Vengeance, for example, or the Magma but uh, it's not far behind, so still good flavor. Um, you can build it either in single or dual coil, so that's still a good point. Um, you have um, the flavor I told already about this. Uh, the airflow is really huge, so you can really crank up the watts and it really likes the high wattage um, or the low resistance uh, this atomizer. Um, the conductivity is very good, that's also a good point, with thanks to its uh, silver plated contact here. Um, and despite uh, being built in low resistance, uh, it doesn't eat up quite fast, so that's still a good point too. Uh, what would be a con on this? if I can speak of a con, that would be the juice well. It's not that deep and uh, I would have preferred it a bit deeper, but still it's only the, the only downside I, I would find for this atomizer. Um, as a mixed point, uh, this likes high wattage and low or low resistances so uh, you would need appropriate batteries uh, to drive it um, I'm thinking of VTC5s from Sony um, or uh, Samsung INR uh, 18650 25R these are very good batteries and that would be uh, the one you should use to drive this I would suggest the VTC 5s because they, they could um, give you uh, 30 amps in continuous, uh, continuously. Um, so let's see how it's built in the close up now. So here are the parts that uh, are the nebula. What, that's all the parts that, that are in the box when you receive it. First, we have replacement o rings. It's still a good point. Uh, we have three airflow adjusting rings here, one in copper with a nice engraving laser etched uh, nebula on it. Another black 
black painting, I guess. Um, with still an engraving on it. And the final stainless steel one. That's my that's the one I prefer. Um, here we have two top caps as well. One in therein uh, with a big bore. Uh, that has been designed for competition uh, mainly, but it still gives a nice flavor and a really nice airflow. And that's one I like. Uh, the other top cap is one in stainless steel with a 5 um, 10 drip tip hole here. There's no uh, drip tip supply, uh, so you can use one you already have, like this one. That I like, uh, and the venting fins here are great uh, looking with this top cap. Um, finally, we have these two parts. This one is the deck with a, a little juice well, uh, big holes in the posts uh, to put your uh, resistance wire. Uh, really big, it's 3 mil, so uh, there's a plenty of, of space there. <coughs> uh, the screws here, and we have a 510 connector here that is both adjustable and uh, silver plated copper. So, uh, as far as condu the conductivity goes, uh, it's really, really nice. This piece um, comes just here to make the vaporizing, cham vaporizing chamber and uh, this one comes here you can build it either in single coil like so or in dual coils like so and you have adjustment here that is really smooth and it won't move because we have an ring here that's really well thought. Uh, now we will build this. We'll put some wick in there. Uh, it's a 0.42 cantle in dual coil setup. We have a 0.37 ohm. Uh, let's wick it and see how it vapes. So here is the nebula as I showed you, Bill, as I showed you in the close up uh, with the 0 0.42 cantle, 0 0.37 ohms uh, with a big bore in it and dual airflow fully open. Let's see how it vapes. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Uh, the flavor is top notch, and uh, we have big clouds. Now we will do another build um, with this wire, the saber to tiger wire from Omega Team, and we will do this in another close up. I'm leaving all the things behind I meant to say But only what I said to you I'm going up, I'm growing up I'll make a stop And miss the things I said to you I'm lifting all of the weight of the world that has fallen on me 
So now you've seen how I build this using this resistance wire, the Saber 2 Tiger coil from Omega Team. Um, wicked using the native wicks uh, cotton fiber. It's very, very good, good capillarity fiber too. Um, it's uh, 0.19 ohms and we'll see how it waves right now. So huge clouds, huge clouds, very tasteful. Um, it's a very good build, even better than the previous one using regular candle. Um, that's it, very good. So what would be our recommendation for the Nebula from Team Omega? Uh, there are three of them. The first one, it's an atomizer that uh, loves uh, high wattage or low resistances so uh, you should use appropriate batteries for that I'm thinking of um, Sony VTC5s um, the Samsung ENR 20, uh, 18650 25R uh, some LG's are good as well uh, so check your amp limit or your on your batteries when building this um, as we are speaking of high wattage and or low resistance. Uh, think of using a good wicking material as well, uh, good fiber. And there I'm thinking about these uh, new fibers, native wicks, it's very really good. Um, the um, rayon also is good and uh, Japanese cotton uh, would do as well. Uh, three and for that I should reopen everything to show you what I mean when building it. May pay attention the way you put fiber and avoid as far as possible to have your fiber in contact with this uh, wall of the atomizing chamber so that you will end up with less heat that goes from your coil through your wick material to touch this and eat up the chamber and eat up finally all the atomizer. So um, it will enable the atomizer to stay cooler if you build it so. Um, as far as price goes, it's about uh, 70 pounds in the UK, 19.5 euros across the rest of Europe, more or less. Um, it's a bit pricey, but it's still a good atomizer. Um, there are a box full of goodies, um, spare parts, um, additional air fluorines. Another uh, the top cap with a dome inside, good flavors too. Um, it's worth its price, although a bit pricey, it's still worth it. Uh, it's clearly a cloud chaser oriented dripper, but uh, flavor is still, uh, still very good on this and we recommend this. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next review. Bye bye!